Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Philips Hue Table Lamp. This is uh, dubbed a Philips Beyond Table because essentially it's part of Philips Beyond uh, Hue products, and that's because it's one of the few fixtures that Philips actually makes. And at 400 US dollars, it is very expensive considering that, as you can see right here, it's pretty much just a desk lamp. Uh, but in my opinion, a unique one, really nothing else like it on the market. Uh, of course, you can just get hue bulbs and stick them in a traditional uh, fixture of your own choosing, but I did like what this item had to offer, at least on paper, and from what I saw, granted very little coverage of this. In fact, it just really launched in the U.S. this year. Uh, it was available abroad earlier, but now finally here in the U.S. This does not include a bridge. For those of you that are curious, so uh, your $400 is literally uh, just to get this lamp in your house. Uh, some quick specifications for those of you that are curious. Uh, not that there's a lot on here, just talking about uh, the mood ambiance and task light in one, and that's because you can see it does have a two-tone uh, capability right there. And that two-tone capability is going to permit you to use this for a wide variety of things beyond just traditional lighting and that's what uh, appealed to me specifically about it so with that out of the way let me go ahead and flip this over you can see also of course ios android branding here because you will need a hue based application in order to actual actually control this light like any other uh, hue product at that so let me go ahead and crack this open and let's see what we've gotten here I'm sure it's going to be in pieces, so bear with me. And let's hope, uh, I did purchase this from Amazon. I'll include a link in the description, of course, for those of you that are wondering. I think it already went down in price a few dollars, but that really doesn't surprise me. Uh, Amazon tends to price things in a fashion that's associated with uh, sales thresholds, and apparently maybe they sold more of these than they needed to, finally, or the opposite. In order to lower the price. Let's see if I broke the seal adequately. I think I did. Yep, we're good to go. And let's see what we get. All right, so first thing we see is the actual light itself. We've got the base of the lamp as well as the neck and what I believe to be the actual hue uh, bulb or LED right here can't see it right now. Some Philips branding down here at the base. I'm going to try to get this out of here. The wire is tucked in here. There we go. Transparent finish on the wire. I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. You will see it in a moment though. I'm gonna, well, I'll save the unwrapping of the plastic for all of you that are into that sort of thing. And then we should have the balance of the assembly, which are essentially the shades. Uh, some paperwork here, user manual, meet Hugh. I've met Hugh already, uh, and I'm assuming most of you have as well. Let's see if I can go a little deeper. There we go. Never a fan of having to disassemble these things in this fashion, but necessary evil uh, on packaging something carefully. So uh, Philips giving us some care instructions, it appears. Warnings, among many other things. Safety instructions, yeah. And styrofoam. Last but not least, the actual shades. So let me, I'm going to actually pick this up and I will bring this around and you'll see exactly what we're working with here. Uh, in the interim, let me bring this into frame, which again is the table lamp itself. And uh, of course the design is not for everyone. In fact, I am noticing right now it looks like I might have damage out of the box. So. And this is something that I was worried about. Now, it could just be the molding there. I think you all can see it. Uh, and at $400, you know, this really has to be better. Yep, the paint is actually coming off. 
So not a good start in this regard. You can see it on my hands here. Uh, so I will be pushing Amazon, not pushing, but requesting an exchange because I'm not going to give up on this yet. But hopefully this isn't an indication of the quality of build because this is really bad uh, to see it chipping, falling apart, the finish there. And obviously I'm not doing anything uh, abrasive to it other than owning it right now. Uh, but let's go ahead. and get the balance out of the box, even though already I'm slightly disappointed, as many of you probably can tell, because this should not look this way. But here is what I was having trouble getting out of the box. Still surprised as I brushed the paint off my hand. Um, let's go ahead and get this open. And this was a brand new product, as all of you saw. This was not refurbished or previously owned. This wasn't a return that slipped through. This is just straight out of the factory. I believe this is made in Poland. And now it'll be interesting to see if the glass is actually intact. I mean, I'll still be able to see what the actual performance is like from this. So there won't. This is the value isn't completely lost of this test and review. There is the, I believe, top half, top half shade right there. And uh, looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna put my hand around those edges to see if it'll cut me, but I'm not seeing any damage. So that's definitely the way we want things to look. Uh, but as I inspect a little bit, I'm seeing more of the white paint that has been chipping off elsewhere here too. Um, and here is the secondary lamp, which is what connects directly to the actual fixture that you saw on the base. So again, this is the lower portion and what you saw previously is the upper portion. And that's where you can control the two different levels of uh, lighting, the two separate steps, if you will, uh, for notifications, weather, I mean, you could customize it to just about anything you want. Um, so it's really a matter of personal preference, but pretty much sums it up. I don't think there's anything else in here. That was just the padding. And nope, nothing else in the box. So again, this is the Philips Hue table lamp, uh, part of the Beyond lineup, which represents Philips entering a space that they traditionally have not resided in. Um, they've stuck to bulbs and, you know, mood lighting. Now here we have actual fixtures. They also have a pendant uh, ceiling lamp, uh, two different types uh, with different uh, capabilities in terms of actual output. Uh, but that pretty much sums up the Hue uh, table lamp unboxing. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.